Hi, so as any of you who watch this channel regularly know, I care about health. I may not be, you know, the fastest, the strongest, or the most athletic by any means, but I do my best to take care of my own health. I care about eating healthy, I care about exercising regularly, and I care about just not doing really stupid things that will obviously, obviously uh, destroy my body. Uh, for, for no good reason. And one of the things that I believe destroys your body for no good reason is soldering without any type of fume extraction system. So I just figured I'd show you what my fume extraction system looks like since I've been cleaning out my office a little bit today. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this up. This is a Hacko FA430. So I'm going to open up the Hacko FA430 and just show you what it is it looks like in here. This has not had the, its internal filter replaced for one month. So every month I open it up to replace the filter inside of it. And this, I just figured, you know, that you'd like to see what it looks like. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Now this is what this thing sucks up. And as you guys know, it's not like this is a construction site or anything like that. This is just a little little hose that sits on my desk, and it's just constantly sucking up every time I'm soldering. I only turn this thing on while soldering. It's not on at any other time of the day. So this is one month's worth of stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Let me just turn face detection, facial focus off here. And so when I can zoom in, it'll autofocus a little bit better. And we're also going to just turn off all this other, yeah, that's, there we go. The lighting was set from, white balance and all that was set for me, not for this. So this is pretty much what you're breathing in every single day that you solder without a fume extractor. So this is the pre-filter. The other filter is under it. So this is not even all the dirt. This is just the stuff. This is just the first layer before you actually get to the to the to the main filter. I really should be doing this with gloves on, but I just ran out. And I actually have free time right now, which I almost never have. So this is what it looks like. Look at all this. This is what will go inside of you. See that? See this? This is the shit that would actually go inside your body. Absolutely disgusting. So let me just get a new filter. This is what a new filter looks like. This is a new filter. This is the one that's one month old. Again, who do you think is going, to, if, I, if I were to race somebody, because I, I, like I like to run home at the end of my day, who do you think is going to win the race? The person who inhaled this, or the person whose lung probably looks like this? Again, it's, it, this is just, it's just one of those things that really bothers me in this profession. And the reason that this stuff really bothers me is because... All the people who are good at this, you know, it's kind of like one of those jokes where you say it once out loud and you see if it's okay to laugh and once everybody laughs, then you start to say it more often. And the thing about jokes, this is the problem with racism too. The thing with jokes is that after a certain period of time, you start to take that shit seriously because you said it out loud enough times Now it's and you've seen that it's okay. So now you just start to take it seriously. And the issue is that a lot of people will say things like some ignorant shit like, I like flux fumes, ha ha ha, and you know, and the problem with shit like that, the real problem with stuff like that, is that people will start to, to believe that shit over time, and uh, and they'll use it as an excuse because here's the thing, you're motivated by the fact that you don't want to spend more money, right? You're motivated to save money because frankly, nobody's going to want to spend money on a fume extractor, even the the small one. Let me just get my focus back on here. Even the small fume extractor, even those little piece of shit fans with the little carbon piece in front of them. They're 50 to $70. Very often after shipping, 70 75 bucks. This thing over here was like almost 500 bucks. I had to pay an extra like 100 something just to get the tubes for it. It's, it's a lot of money. For the Hacko FA430, it was almost 500 bucks. I had to pay about 100 or 200 something for the hoses and all the little filters. It's, you know, it's a lot of money. And I totally get why somebody would be willing to laugh it off as a joke because, again, you just want to get started working. So many people are like, I don't want to spend $260 in a soldering iron. That's too, mu too much for me. When I, I bring up, you know, again, this is not the expensive gear. 
the expensive stuff. The expensive gear is JBC and Pace. This little $200 whatever, this is the cheap station. Yeah, you get it? When I'm talking to you about a $500 hot air station and people are like, I can't, I'm never going to pay $500 for hot air. Like, that is the cheap station. This is the expensive one at $1,800. But I digress. I, people are willing to come up with all these excuses to not care about their health because caring about your health costs money. So it's easy to laugh it off. It's easy to say things like, you know, I'm not going to be a prissy man and not, you know, and, and, um, and not and, uh, you know, pretend that I care about all these little things. I, and then people start to associate it with machoism, like real men don't mind solder fumes and all. I worked around it. I worked, I've been working around this mentality since I was 17 fucking years old. 17. Everybody was like, fume extraction, fume shit. And, and you know what I notice amongst all the people who say that type of shit, amongst all the people who are going to laugh it off and say it's not, it's something to think about, but it's not something to really worry about that much. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. What I notice amongst all those people, every single one of them, for the past 10 and a half years, 10 and a half years, is that if they were forced to run four miles, they would probably fucking die. And a lot of people will say, you know, nobody, very, almost nobody who's independent in the industry uses fume extraction. You're only going to see that in big industrial facilities. Nobody uses that. As if that's, some, whoa, 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 I, like, I'm supposed to care about this? Like, I, I, you, I'm supposed to give a shit that, about what other people are doing? What, like, I want to look like the people in the rest of the electronics industry? Like, I want to have the lungs of the people in the, the rest of the people in the consumer electronics industry? Like, I want to be, able, like, I want to run a mile in 30 minutes like the rest of the people in the... No, I don't care what everybody else is doing. I don't give two shits of a fuck what the rest of the world is doing. I care about my goals. I care about my health. I care about what I'm doing for myself. I don't give a shit if everybody else out there, and you know, not to sound like like you know middle-aged parents, but you know I don't care if everybody else is jumping off a bridge. I'm not going to do it too. And, and to me, this, like inhaling this shit, and making up reasons as to why it's okay to inhale this shit, this is not okay. This is not okay. This is bad for your health. There's nothing you can do to tell me that inhaling this crap is okay for you. And again, I, I, I'm not going to like, there are scientific studies on all this kind of crap and how it causes asthma and, you know, and just, but, but again, not, just outside of the asthma, like the study shows asthma, but call me crazy I feel like this is going to do something else to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's one thing if you go outside and there's, you know, and, and there's pollen and all this other crap in the air. But, like, this, it, you know, flux, solder, lead, all, all this other shit, like, this is not fucking good for you. Like, you know, lead is going to liquidize when it goes over 900 degrees, which it may go over 900 degrees depending on what you're doing. I don't want to risk that. I'd rather just suck it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, of all the things that, 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 that I see, I, it just comes back down to this basic thing, which is, you know, the people who are going to tell me that this is okay, like, just show me who they are. And I know that I'm going to get a lot of flack for this video. I know a ton of people are going to say I'm judging based on appearance. I'm judging based on fitness. There's a lot more to fitness than just inhaling solder fumes. There are people who inhale solder fumes that could run a marathon, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying on average, let's be honest with ourselves. Let us look at our industry and try to, uh, to, to not get butt hurt and not get defensive and just be serious for a second here. Every single time you've heard somebody say that it's okay to inhale this stuff and fuck having a fume extractor, every time you've seen that culture, I want you to look really hard at the people who are promoting that culture, encouraging that culture, taking part in that culture. What is their fitness level? Do you want, do you aspire to be at that fitness level? Is, is really all I'm going to say. And, you know, I, I understand that you can't afford this shit. I under, trust me, I understand if you don't want to spend five or six hundred bucks, I get it. Buy a little fucking carbon filter and a computer fan. I, I, I don't know what to like. Buy, um, go to Amazon and buy a $30 Lasco fan with a stand. To si put your setup right over here. Put the fan on as high as it goes and solder out your fucking window. Is that fume extraction? No, because the fumes are supposed to be sucked up directly from the source. So if I'm making fumes over here, that needs to get sucked up right over here. But at the very least, try to put some thought into it. Hold your breath while you're soldering. Do this and wait for your fan to blow the shit out the window. Poverty Poverty is, is poverty is not an excuse to fuck up your health in this instance. There, because because there are so many ways that you could rearrange your workspace so that 
you can have like a, a fucking ten or thirty dollar fan do the job. There are just so many. You don't have to buy a six hundred fifty dollar machine. You can be. You can get creative with this. There are many ways that you can solder without having all these. All this wind up inside of you. Will your ten or thirty dollar setup be as good as my six hundred something dollar setup? If you're really good, maybe yes. Many cases, no. But is it better than just sitting here and letting all that crap go right into your body and not caring? Yes. So my point with this video. Is it something to think about? And I'm not saying that you have to go out there and spend six or seven hundred bucks today. All I'm saying is try to think about this and just look at your environment, look at how you're working, and try to figure out if you can't afford a good way to do it, try to figure out a cheap and creative way to not inhale this stuff because it really does matter. And the people who are going to tell you that it doesn't matter, frankly, again, are these people that you really want to emulate to begin with? Probably not. And the reason I bring this up, again, the reason it's so important is because a lot of the people who say that stuff are good technicians. When I was 17 years old and I was working around all these people who had this mentality and this chest beating, like, I'm a real man, I don't do this. One of them was actually a lesbian, so she even had that chest beating mentality. She she was one of those really, really, like, stereotypical... um, like just this the the stereotype of a, of a butch lesbian and she's like you don't want what kind of sissy are you to care about solder fumes like everybody had that that, that silly chest beating mentality when I started doing this. And the thing is, the people who had that mentality were the people who were much better than me, right? So I want to emulate the people who are better than me. It's only natural that in any business, in any sport, in any type of thing that we're doing, we want to emulate the people who are better than us. We're probably going to try to aspire to be like them. And what I'm saying here is that you can, em- you can aspire to be as good as they are technically. You can aspire to be as good as they are in business. You can aspire to be as good as they are in whatever it is they're doing well, but you can pick and choose what you want to emulate. You can pick and choose to emulate their excellent diagnostic mindset. You can choose to emulate the fact that they're great at sales. You can choose to emulate the fact that they have the best soldering on the planet without emulating the fact that they fuck up their health. Because this, this shit right here, again, this has nothing to do with technical proficiency. Just because the people who are telling you that this is okay are very technically proficient and are smart, maybe even genius level people, does not mean that this is good. People can be complete geniuses in every aspect of their life and still be completely fucking, complete fucking idiots when it comes to one aspect of their life. Something that I hope I demonstrated to you in the video where I was doing juicing on my table. Just look at me try to cut up food. I'm a complete fucking idiot. Should you try to emulate the way that I prepare food? Hell no. I'm not good at it. The point with that video is that for all of you people who are calling me a genius and thinking that I'm so smart and amazing because I can do this, this thing well... That doesn't mean that I'm not smart in other areas of my life. And if somebody, regardless of, they could, they could cure cancer. But if they think that this is good for them, they're idiots. That's really all I have to say.